Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using the phone link app on Windows and the link to Windows app on your Android device, then just to let you know, and as posted by Windows Central, that Microsoft is rolling out an update for the link to Windows app on Android that has added the ability to remotely lock your Windows 11 PC using your phone, which I think is a handy feature, especially if you've moved away from your PC and you are using the phone link app and link to Windows and maybe you just forgot to lock your PC or you're going to be away a little bit longer and then you can just use the app to basically remotely lock your PC, which could be a nice move in the right direction. Now this feature requires link to Windows version 1.25071.165 and according to Windows Central doesn't appear to be showing for everyone yet and I did check before posting this video I even received an update to the link to Windows app on my Android phone but it didn't bring this update I'm still sitting on 1.25065 and you need to be on 071 so just putting it out there in case you're unaware so this looks like it's either still in testing or is rolling out gradually. Now, if we just head to an image provided by Windows Central, once pressed, your PC will automatically lock itself without you needing to touch it. And something else to take note of is that the lock PC button will also disconnect your phone from the Windows Phone Link app until you log back in, which I actually think is a nice touch just bring in a bit of an extra privacy screen, so to speak. And something else that's been noted is that the feature doesn't require Bluetooth and can be initiated manually. And if we have a look at this new redesign, which does look a little bit different to what we currently get on Android, the redesigned app places all of its core functions in one place, as you can see. And the app now lets you view your most recently shared files and photos as well as recent text copied to your clipboard, as we can see, if you have clipboard sync enabled. And you can also initiate sharing files and photos from your phone to your PC via the new screen, as well as casting your phone screen to your PC, where until this update, this was not the case. These functions needed to be initiated from the Windows PC but can now be initiated from either your PC or Android phone, which I also think is a nice move in the right direction if you are using these two apps. So I'm going to keep my eye on this one. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I haven't received the update yet, but I thought this was interesting. And even when I get knowledge that I can actually show you this in real time when it becomes available in my region, I'll obviously try and post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.